Hey there, Smoke Master D coming at you with another episode of Barbecue Buyer's Guide. This time we have two more contenders. So I did uh, one with the Lone Star Grills Texas Edition and the TMG Volunteer uh, pretty recently, but uh, two more came my way. There was a, a comment in the comment section about Patriot Pits, so I checked them out. I also happened to come by these uh, legend smokers, so I thought, hey, I'll throw together another episode, so here we go. All right, and here are some chapter times for you. If you would, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, uh, drop me a comment down below, say hi. Um, so thank you for all of your support for this channel. But if you want to jump ahead uh, to any point in the video, you may. What this originally came from was this uh, episode that I did, Barbecue Buyer's Guide to Competitors of the Workhorse Pits 1975. Kind of take the 1975 as the gold standard of its class, in a sense. And I use it as a base of comparison for other smokers. So you see a lot of smokers there. If you want to go and, and check this episode out, I'll link it above. Uh, but let's uh, take a look now at these two new pits that I've found that are in a similar class to the Workhorse Pits 1975. All right, and of course, uh, we always like to take a look at the maps and shipping. Uh, now, interestingly enough, Patriot Pits is in New England, right? Up there in western Massachusetts. So the name uh, Patriot, you know, that's where revolutionary war a lot of it happened and the idea of the patriots versus the redcoats so uh the name name fits uh from our previous episode i believe green money fab fabrications was somewhere near new york so you know there's sort of competitors up there but i don't remember any any uh builder being that far uh north and east so um it could be a good option and and like i always say when you're having shipping of something so large and weighty, it uh, the 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 cost really adds on, right? Um, closer can be better. It it just depends. Uh, we have Legend Offset Smokers over here um, in Missouri, uh, so it's very central to the country. So that's actually in its favor, I think. Now we have workhorse pits again, and they are just northeast of Atlanta. They are changing locations, I think, maybe in a month or two. And hopefully when they do change locations to their new campus, they will be putting out more smokers more quickly, and that wait time will drop. And over here in the bottom right-hand corner, I have a little map that shows me their plan. They have an economy shipping plan, which is really great, uh, but, you know, it's... It's an in-house thing and might save some money on the shipping. So I just wanted to throw that in there if you are thinking of going with workhorse pits. All right. And prices. So um, the workhorse pits 1975 has a base price of 2784 It is uh, very good. Uh, both of these other pits are more expensive by the tune of more than $1,000. So the Freedom 94 is 3950 And I just wanted to, to throw in here that the counterweight and the front shelf aren't included in that price. Uh, now, to be fair to the workhorse pit, the, the Cowboy Firebox isn't included in the 2784 either, which is pictured there. Um, and for the Legend Offset Smokers, we have the Legend 2400. Base price of thirty nine ninety five, even more than the Freedom ninety four, uh, and the front shelf and log warmer, which uh, is is a pot warmer in a, in a sense, but I guess just for logs, those are not standard, and we'll see the cost for those as we go on. All right, so cooking racks, uh, you know, we see on the workhorse pits, uh, you can add the top pullout rack for $156 comes with some extra thermometers. And over here on the Patriot pits, they have a pullout top uh, rack that is $110. Now, what I want you to notice about their racks on the bottom, and it's not pullout, 
is that they have one very large rack and then they have one small rack. So apparently you can take that small rack out. And if you have, if you're not taking up the whole chamber, which most of us, you know, most of our cooks, we don't, you can actually move that large rack from side to side. And, you know, if you wanted to be closer to the firebox, if you wanted to be further away, um, which says, I suppose, a little bit about the tuning. Uh, I, you know, in all the research I've done, the workhorse pits is very well tuned, but not perfectly tuned. Uh, and, and we'll talk more about tuning in a little bit as well. But it is an interesting part of, of this Patriot pits here. Um, now, if we go over to the Legend 2400, uh, we have the bottom uh, rack, which apparently is round bar grates. And you can see uh, those, uh, you know, there on the bottom as well as this top. So the top shelf is also round bar. Now, if you go to this Legend Offset Smokers website, currently you won't see uh, any. There's there's a bunch of options, but top shelf is not one of them. Now, Frank uh, Cox, I believe it is, he is uh, the person responsible for smoker builder manufacturing or mfg uh you may have seen him around i think that he started uh with drum smokers way back got into offsets uh they sell uh plans for building smokers as well and have for a long time so he's been around for quite a bit um and uh, i guess you know he started this company uh legend smokers but you may uh, request the top shelf, and this is a picture. He actually sent it to me via email, uh, and it's an extra $75. So, all right, cooking racks. Um, these are the square inches. I do the calculations for these. So on the Freedom Pits, uh, you're going to see that 885 plus the 207. So that's uh, this, the size of that smaller little piece of rack on the bottom, and it's 1,092.5. So basically the workhorse pits, their bottom rack, almost exactly identical with 1,092.75. Now the legend smoker is 1,034, which is a smaller number, strangely enough. Um, now the Patriot pits, so the, the size of the top shelf is going to depend on a few things. When you have a barrel, right, if you take it, the further you go up, the more that rounding is going to cut down on on the space that you have. And I didn't actually figure out, you know, the clearance between these racks. But on the Patriot pits, you have the 570. On the workhorse, 607.5. That could indicate that it's a little bit lower and closer to the bottom rack. I'm not sure. Um, like I said, I don't have that number. Um, and 900 for the Legend 2400. So a huge amount, you would think, well, it's really close to the bottom rack, but the octagonal shape, okay, of the Legend Smoker actually allows for you to have larger racks higher up. So we're not going to worry as much about that. That 900 there um, is going to tip it so that it is, it is the largest space here, 1934 is the number for legend smokers 1700 and a quarter for the workhorse pits and 1662.5 for the patriot pits freedom 94. all right metal thickness so uh this is also interesting the freedom 94 the patriot pits they followed uh the workhorse model and and did a 3 8 inch barrel uh, strangely enough, they say that their pit is 1,100 to 1,200 pounds. Now, where is all that extra weight? I'm not entirely sure. You know, they do have a lot of heavy badging on um, on what they do. I, also, I think some of their, their pieces and component parts have pretty thick metal, you know, like the hinges and, and that sort of thing. Um, so could that account for all that extra weight? When I saw that number in the email from them, it looked high to me, you know, especially since I'm familiar with this 835 from from the workhorse. But, um, you know, if if they really are and, and they gave me that range because of uh, apparently, you know, what options I think if you get that counterweight, 
that's probably going to help bump it up some. But if they are that much in, in metal that they're giving you, that could account for the higher price, right? Now, the Legend 2400 is a different story altogether. 3 sixteenths is uh, less than a quarter. So, yeah, if you divided it by uh, two, each of those, you would have 1.5 eighths, right? So this Le Legend 24, the metal thickness is actually um, exactly half of these other two pits. And that contributes to its lower weight of 650 pounds. So it is a more expensive pit than the, the work. It's actually more expensive than both of these, but it weighs less. So you're getting less material. Now, back doors. All right. Um, so strangely enough, I didn't have to change uh, my little caption there much uh from the TMG volunteer that I, you know, I copy and pasted this uh, presentation from um, the Chud style bracket back there, as well as door only air control, exactly the same, pretty much from the uh, the TMG volunteer to this uh, Freedom ninety four. Uh, so it looks almost the same, almost exactly the same. Uh, the bow tie damper, uh, you know, a lot of people just use the door for the workhorse pits. Now, the Legend Smoker, the Legend 2400, it is uh, different, or you know, it also has a bow tie damper. But when you look at it, um, you see that the metal is in a different place, right? So for the workhorse pits, the metal's inside the chamber, and you know, you make it go up and down. Uh, for the Legend Smoker, it looks like an hourglass right there on the bottom one. But the outside metal is is what actually moves. Uh, and so when you do it, you see the, the top one. It, then it looks like a bow tie uh, when it's actually open. Uh, I found that strange, but, you know, I'm sure it works. So the other thing I noticed about this is that uh, that the door for the Legend Smoker, the stop sign shaped door is completely flush all the way around. Right. So it's. um. It also doesn't look like it has any sort of lip uh, for to help uh, with, you know, any air escape. Of course, you know, the workhorse doesn't either. Uh, but it's it's interesting that it is, uh, you know, I guess there's there's flanging on the Freedom 94. Again, more more metal there uh, to to make it more expensive. But yeah. All right, protective coating, linseed oil all the way around. So linseed oil, linseed oil, linseed oil. Not much to say about that. You know, you have to add some linseed oil uh, every, you know, six to 12 months to keep the thing up. Um, and it's all the same for all of these. Okay, casters. Now, these are a little bit different. We have a uh, choice of casters on the Patriot Pits and it's black, red, and green. You would think that it would be like red, white, and blue, but it's not. It's black, red, and green. I like that that red color. It looks good. Now, if you want the wagon option, it's going to be an extra 800. They classify it as a different pit, uh, like a different model, I guess. Uh, but it's 800 more than the uh, caster version. Now, the casters on the workhorse pits, they got upgraded their casters to these six inches. Um, whatever the material is for these wheels is supposed to be really great, especially for moving, uh, I guess, across your lawn. Um, so uh, it'd be interesting if you have the new casters on a workhorse pits and you move it around a lot. Put a comment down below. Tell me how that that's going. <laughs> uh, but if you want their wagon model, uh, eight hundred and thirty seven dollars, the legend uh, smokers. They call their casters heavy duty. Um, I have to say, I don't know the size of these wheels. Is it five? Is it eight? Uh, that would be interesting to know as well. Now, if you want a wagon or, go or golf cart style, I think he said that they were golf cart wheels in his email. It's going to be around $800. Uh, apparently, uh, Frank has to buy the axle and the wheels separately, and they were both somewhere around 400 all right, the shelf. 
Now the Patriot Pits, I've never seen this before. Single arm. So instead of the double arm, like the volunteer, and I believe also like the Shirley, um, the Shirley traditional flow. This one has a single arm. Uh, I saw a video uh, of a gentleman, you know, he said that he could sit on it. He didn't sit on it, though. <laughs> um, you know, uh, he was borrowing the smoker. But um, yeah, $94. I think it's definitely probably worth that $94. $300 for stainless. So, um, you know, having that prep shelf uh, right there by the door has actually been uh, one of my biggest complaints with the workhorse pits. They have this smart shelf side cart um yeah it's uh 186 for stainless is 288 uh you push it up and you bolt it um to the smoke collector there so it is uh i i don't like the location of it i think that uh it would be better to have something right where you want to put in or pull out your your food so now uh, for the Legend Offset Smokers, this is also something that you won't see as an option on the Legend Offset Smoking website. Uh, now, you have to ask for it. It's also $75. I guess I should have put that on there. Uh, but it appears to be bolt-on, which I'm not wild about. Uh, and I'm not wild about it just because I'm sort of in that mindset of, welding is better and that maybe uh you could lose heat from the seams of these now it doesn't look like you could lose a lot of heat through those seams it just is a little strange to me that they wouldn't weld it on and that they would bolt it on instead so i'm not sure about that uh but that's 75 dollars and um he said you know that he would have to engineer one that folded down uh and he didn't know how much that would be uh but it definitely seems like uh frank is the kind of guy who could and would do anything. Uh, I was surprised that he had this this new company. Uh, you know, the, the reason I've never covered um, Smoker Builder Manufacturing or MFG before is they've been so completely a custom shop, you know, that they never really had anything like a model that they went off of. It was just whatever you want, you know, pick your options. And they still do that here, but uh, they do have this Legend 2400. So, yeah, I get to do it. I get to get to talk about them. So, grilling and firebox, uh, not available on the Patriot Pits. I didn't ask. You know, you can always ask these people. They, uh, if it, if there's something you really want and you're willing to pay for it, a lot of times, you know, they'll do it. Again, the legend uh, offset smokers, uh, I didn't ask about it. I, you know, if I had, I asked about the top rack and the, and the shelf and, and they definitely did. There's a whole page they have des designated for customizing your legend smoker. And I'm sure that you could, uh, you know, uh, get a quote for uh, grilling in the firebox, but it's, uh, you know, 120 on the workhorse pits and right there, ready for you to click on. Engineering, uh, the workhorse pits sort of make a lot out of their uh, computational fluid dynamics. So it, uh, you know, they, they use computer modeling mathematics to figure out what the best way to uh, have the heat uh, flow through the pit. Um, you know, um, JD says he spent six figures on that. So, uh, you know, I'm sure that the, the, his pits are, are good. When you have something like a fire, uh, live fire, creating your heat, uh, going through a pit, it can't really be perfect. And, uh, you know, some of the evidence I've seen in other YouTube videos seems to bear that out. But as far as it goes, it definitely seems like Workhorse Pits is uh, maybe as good as you can get <laughs> with the traditional flow offset. So um, I do hold them in high regards for, for that. Uh, now, the Patriot Pits, uh, he did do a biscuit test. Um, apparently, you know, there is a hot spot right there in that first quadrant next to the firebox. And you can see the biscuits, you know. Um, and if you look at the bottom of the biscuits, they're a little bit um, darker there. 
Uh, so that's just something to keep in mind. Probably going to use, you know, three fourths of this uh, pit and, and not that first quarter very much. Now, I didn't see any data on the Legend Offset Smokers. Never really got a very good look at uh, any sort of baffling for for them either. Uh, for the Patriot Pits, it, it seems like it's just a pretty standard baffled plate there, you know, uh, angled down. Uh, and and the result is you know predictable as it as it would be. It's not to say that um, it's not going to work really well, uh, especially in those three quarters to the left or away from the firebox. Upgrades. Okay, so what upgrades can you get? Uh, so that counterweight that looks so good on the Patriot pits is two hundred and fifty. Now they also do badging on the back. So uh, they do that American flag there, uh, made in uh, America, I believe is what that says, and that's 65. Or if you want a custom badge, you can submit your own design for $100. Now, Workhorse Pits has their cover for 270. I did see on, on one video that uh, it bleached out pretty quickly. So not super great, uh, but... Uh, Patriot Pits uh, doesn't have one listed, nor uh, Offset Legend Smokers either. Now, Offset Legend Smokers, or Legend Smokers, does have this uh, charcoal basket there for $79. Uh, you know, apparently that uh, wood rack that the basket's sitting on comes standard. Uh, so you get that as, as part of the price of the smoker. Uh, but if you want the charcoal basket, they designed one for $79. Uh, the log warmer, and you can actually see the logs warming there on top. That's $119 if you want that. Um, you know, I, I don't know if it uh, comes off, you know, if it's detachable. Uh, especially if you're going to put on more linseed oil, you would want you'd want to be able to get to the metal underneath there. <laughs> um, but it's there to protect the smoker itself uh, from the, the wood you know, scraping and, and what have you. Grilling baskets, you see that there's a grilling basket that fits into the bottom of this smoker. Uh, it's $85, two for 129 I believe that's a savings. So if you're really into grilling in the main chamber, um, that could be an option. In fact, uh, I don't remember uh, any other option similar to this for any of the smokers that I had in the first episode, competitors of the, the Workhorse Pits 1975, or the two that I did before with the TMG Volunteer and uh, and the Texas edition Lone Star Grills. Uh, very interesting. If, if grilling's your game and you like to do a lot of grilling, you know, $129, there you go. Trailer. So uh, Patriot Pits does have a trailer option. Of course, uh, the 1975T for Workhorse and Offset Legend Smokers. Um, you see that there is, uh, with their custom, when they you go to the custom thing, um, and as you can see, you can, you can customize this thing out the wazoo. <laughs> you can have your Legend Smoker be a thousand gallon. You see that there? Um, and you can mount it on anything you want. I told you, uh, smoker building, manufacturing, they'll do anything, right? Uh, so, but yes, so you can get a trailer version of the Legend Smokers. You just have to contact them and let them know what you want. Uh, one interesting feature of that trailer mounted Patriot Pits is that you can uh, ask for the Santa Maria grill on there. I think it was somewhere around $1,000 extra. So uh, it's a good looking Good looking pit there. All right, lead time. Um, so uh, as many people may know, a workhorse pits is around 10 months. Uh, there is hope among many that when they get to their new facility, that that will be a, a shorter amount of time. Uh, Patriot pits is around three months right now. Um, now the one, one thing about offset legend smokers Okay, the legend offset smokers is that uh, he said, Frank said in his, his email, 
I can have a unit ready for you in five to seven days, depending on upgrades you want. Uh, I also saw somewhere else on the website that, uh, you know, they would have inventory at dealerships, uh, probably in the, the area around them in Missouri. So one of the selling points of this legend offset smoker is you can have it real soon, right? Um, you don't have to wait now. Um, you know, does that make up for any, any detractors? Uh, could that be the deciding factor for you, uh, is waiting? And, and I have to say, I have waited for a pit before it is, uh, it is excruciating. <laughs> um, one other thing I wanted to point out for this, uh, wagon model for the Patriot pits. I really like, um, the way that they do the wood rack below and how those pipes come up to support the barrel. Uh, everything about, uh, Patriot pits, um, has some artistic pizzazz that I really appreciate. Yeah, and and I'm going to keep going on that thought. Uh Patriot Pits, my thoughts, they look really good. Um, you know, uh they have you know, the front shelf that that I wish was on the workhorse pits. Uh if if they threw on the cowboy firebox, you know, I would be I would be very even more happy with with Patriot Pits. Uh, they're expensive, uh, but you know, when, when you have all the extra detail that they have, uh, you would have to expect it really, um, the hot spot that I guess they have on, on the far end of the smoker, maybe a slight disappointment, but I think, I think overall this Patriot pits, uh, freedom 94 is really great. Um, I would definitely consider it. Uh, if I were, you know, in the market right now for, for one of these smokers, um, as always workhorse pits, the value for that smoker that you get is, uh, the best, they have the best value. Um, you know, you may get a good value with this Patriot pits. Uh, but if you're on any sort of budget, um, I don't know how workhorse pits does it truthfully how they make their their smokers so affordable and you know it comes with having that great engineering too uh and uh yeah one thing that i didn't point out they're the only ones with the fold down stack and maybe that's why they're the only ones who sell uh, a cover <laughs> um and now my thoughts on the legend smokers uh it's boxy right uh my first car was a Toyota Cressida from the 80s, and it kind of reminds me of that just from the boxiness. Boxy can be good. Um, it can be good. Uh, aesthetically, though, not a huge fan of boxy. I like round. But the other thing is uh, having the octagonal shape. Does it cut the perfect balance between round and boxy? I don't know. Maybe it does. Um, the one thing about this smoker is that it has thinner metal, but costs more. Why? Why is that true? Uh, you know, if it had thinner metal and cost less, <laughs> I would be much more interested in it. Uh, why does it cost more than the workhorse pits? Why does it cost more than the Patriot pits? Uh, I don't know, you know, I know that for, for these other two, I know at least for the workhorse pits that they roll their metal, uh, for the legend smokers, they, uh, probably bend it into the octagonal shape. So, um, you know, and, and I saw on their Facebook page that they, they did have a round one, uh, years back, um, maybe when they were just starting out, I don't know. Uh, I'm not entirely sure exactly how old this legend uh, company is but yeah the uh the price is the most disappointing part uh for me for this legend smoker um especially with the thinner metal the one thing that could really redeem it i think is those grill baskets in the main chamber uh if you're really into you know grilling in the main chamber you like to grill a lot maybe a lot of burgers a lot of steaks i'm not sure what uh at, at one time and have that dual purpose part of it 
maybe it could be worth it to you to go for this legend offset smoker. Um, but for me, I think that I would be taking a pass. I want to like it more, but that price is just too high for me. All right, those are my thoughts. I'm sure that you have your own thoughts, and uh, I would love to hear them. So please share your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, which of these three do you prefer? Um, if you have any of them, particularly the two that aren't the workhorse pits, just because, uh, you know, this is... Uh, maybe more their video. Give me a review. I'd love to hear it. Uh, other people might want be interested in it as well. Uh, so leave those comments below. And as always, y'all, go get your smoke on.